Mohammed, I'm an international development professional and I work at the Nexus of Digital. Hello, this is Maria Kaikand in Rwanda, living in Bangkomali, West Africa. My name Hawaii. is Chibugwe Mozafa and I'm an information communications technology professional based in Kampala, Uganda. Uh, Imani Gloria, House Uganda. International Women's Day 2023. Um, happy Women's Day, my lovelies. Uh, I'm wishing every woman out there a happy Women's Day. But most of all, of course, the Ruth Hope family, ladies, I wish you all a happy Women's Day. So welcome. If you're new here, as usual, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share the videos. And for the recurring members, I appreciate you so much. Today is very special because we're going to have a few guests um, giving out a message uh, for Women's Day and uh, also talking about or shining a light about this year's theme which is gender equity personally i'm going to be talking about the women that have inspired me in my life but on a side note um <laughs> while i was preparing for this video i realized that i've actually never celebrated me on women's day women's day for me has always meant celebrating those women that have inspired me women that have had an impact in my life and what i think about it as like i mean it's actually about time you celebrate the woman you have become well in my mind i'm still an 18 year old so probably that's why i'm not celebrated um but when i was reflecting upon my life i was of the view that it's about time that i give myself the flowers in time um from a young little girl with dreams of what my life should look like to the woman that I've become, a mom of two lovely boys, intelligent, sympathetic, kind, um, to relocating from Uganda to Germany, ending up divorced, um, unfortunately, much as it was my choice, but it was never my life plan that I would get married, divorced, become a single mom, for quite a number of years um i didn't envision my life that way but reflecting upon my life i realized everything has turned out just perfect everything has turned out the way it was meant to be it's been really tough it's been uh, very challenging all these past years especially after my divorce considering that i was stay at home mom full-time stay at home mom and then uh, got divorced and then you know concentrated on getting back into my career because that was always very very important to me and where i'm right now with my career i feel i've really really turned out to be great and uh, i celebrate myself today for the very very first time so referring to all the challenges that i've been through as a woman um and not to forget that a woman with migrant background it was never easy even getting back into the career world but i must say if i was to do life again i would still do it this way was it the way i planned it no has it turned out just fine absolutely and i must say i'm thankful and grateful and to all the ladies out there who've been through the same like me or the single mothers out there or ladies that are in toxic or abusive relationships ladies that don't even know if they'll ever realize their dreams I'm sending you special kind of hugs today, special kind of love. And uh, I encourage you not to despair because I believe everything works out in its own time, at its own pace. And when the time is ready, everything will work out for you. A special happy Women's Day to you out there. Like I said, our guests, I'll be putting in the clips of the messages and I'll be tagging their socials so you can check them out because they have very, very important messages for us so i'll go straight to the women that have inspired me in my life and these are the women that i've always celebrated actually every women's day uh one of them being my grandmother rest her soul in peace she impacted my life a lot because i have a video actually about her you know not like particularly about her but how she impacted my life and why i had a very close relationship with my grandmother and i had the chance and opportunity of having to spend i would say relatively time great time with her so i could watch her i could watch the way she treats people i could watch the way she lives her life 
and uh, i would say she inspired me in a way that she was a very kind woman she was very intelligent uh she was very she lived a life of service you know i remember every time i was at my grandma's they were like always actually the household was made up of my grandfather my grandmother and then me if i came to visit but i don't remember a single time when my grandmother served lunch and there were less than 10 people like everyone knew if you go to madame m there's always something you'll have a glass of milk you'll have food she'll even start cooking extra for you so that i really really found to be special and uh somehow i picked it up let me put it that way and um she was also a very um not i wouldn't say religious but she was um how do i say that like a strong believer you know very high moral values which i also picked up um unfortunately we lost her in 2021 which is still tough for me because i really really loved her so much um but yeah she has impacted my life and uh, i even have a dream of doing something specifically dedicated to these two women the second woman being my mother uh but it's still in the works it's my actually at the moment one of my biggest dreams and i hope one day i'll be able to fulfill that to make their legacy live on forever my mother how has she impacted me um oh my god i think my mother requires an entire video of her own but i'll just summarize it my mom has impacted i would say almost 90 percent of my life or even yeah okay 90 percent. you know my values my morals everything that i believe in my mom is also a very strong believer i'm a very very strong believer myself i don't believe in religion but i believe in doing good i believe in being kind um uh, my mom has also lived a life of service i mean uh we're nine we're ten kids but we've had like several other siblings growing up in our home because my mom has always wanted to help has always wanted to serve humanity which kind of flows in my blood or something that i picked up and my mom has very very strong moral values she's very self-confident she's a very very principled person and those are things that i see in myself or things that i've picked up the positive things and not to forget uh, my mom grew up in a very strict staunch catholic family and uh, married someone in another faith which i would consider rebellious <laughs> much as she's very kind and, and charming and all which is also who i am like i'm kind i'm nice i'm all that but i'm also a rebel somehow like i'm someone if i set my mind to something then it will be that nothing can stop me and that is my mom that has impacted me and my mom has impacted me in a way that she gave me love and then i saw also love my siblings and other people which also taught me you know like to love unconditionally um and definitely having my mom as my best friend has also impacted the way i parent my kids for example i have an extremely very good relationship with my mom she's actually my best friend and that has impacted me in the, in the way that i parent that i have a very so very good relationship with my kids and i hope that one day they can also say i'm their best friend like i talk about my mom and of course even the negative things that are, that my mom for example has gone through or things especially considering a woman in the african culture there are some things that i noticed that a child where crazy as sounds that was an inspiration for me to do better you know to to do that differently but on the whole for me those are the most inspirational women i know for such a message some people would expect me to talk about like all those successful women but it would be a lie because inspiration is all about really someone that you've looked up to someone that has impacted your life someone that has inspired you and for me it's only these two ladies my mom and my grandmother this year's theme is gender equity so how can we as a society achieve gender equity i'm going to talk about like just three points and then i will give it over to the guests so gender equity is basically all about um offering a fair chance to both gender to both genders men and women and we can bridge this gap for example by um bridging the gender gap pay where women earn less than men in the same position for example uh or when we compare for example footballers male footballers earn like a hundredth fold of what female footballers earn that's not fair and for as long as such inequalities are there we can never achieve gender equality so that's why gender equity is very very important um we as a family can also contribute being a mom myself one of the basic things that you can start with is if you have for example daughters and sons 
start from your own family start from the roots don't put gender roles on your kids if if a girl can cook a boy can cook if a girl can clean a boy can clean you know so try to break those um gender inequalities right from the family setting because like i said our upbringing our parenting impacts us a lot so we as a family for example can start on that you know and then talking about uh gender equity we can also talk about um things like bridging the digital gap you know bridging the digital gap how can we achieve that offering women the same opportunities and digital skills just like their male counterparts you know having women have all these skills to be able to also work like in managerial positions so that we can bridge this gap and achieve the equality so basically since i'm having guests giving out their insight and knowledge about this i don't want to make this video too long so those are my two saints to women's day and uh once again thank you so much for always supporting me thank you so much for believing in our journey here which is all about social empowerment for both genders but most especially for the women i really really love to empower the ladies out there and for all of you that have joined us on this journey i truly truly appreciate you so i'll give you over to my guests Mohammed, I'm an international development professional and I work at the nexus of digitalization, human rights and inclusion. I believe we cannot achieve gender equality without gender equity. I believe that we must first and foremost appreciate and understand the existence of age-old constructs which have unfairly kept women in a position of disadvantage that we must start there and dismantle those constructs that have prevented women from fully realizing their social, cultural, economic, and political aspirations. This is especially important in the digital age, where we must make sure that women benefit from all the opportunities digitalization offers without fear of abuse, without fear of violence, without fear of harassment, that we must equip women with the tools resources and skills they need to become and remain digitally resilient, that we must install and put in place safeguards for their safety and security, that we must put in place safeguards for their privacy, because equality cannot exist without equity. Thank you. Hello, this is Maria Haigandon Randan living in Banco Mali, West Africa, a wife, a mother of three, and an IT engineer by profession with over eight years of work experience. My woman inspiration is my mom. This is a woman that was raised in the times where gender inequality was at its worst. In fact, men were raised to think that it's normal, but she fought for her space on the table. She managed to marry a man of a different faith, which was unheard of in their family. She gave birth to and raised both men and women without gender discrimination. In our home, it didn't matter whether you're male or female, house chores were for everyone in the house. What is gender inequality? Gender inequality is discrimination based on sex or gender. Examples of gender inequality is gender inequality in girls' education in most places in the world. Girls don't go to school, they stay home to do house chores while the, while the boys go to school. Child marriages, gender-based violence, and child labor. What can we do to challenge gender inequality? We have to empower girls. We have to empower women. We have to support women leadership. Women have to sit at the table and make decisions which favor them as well. We have to support we have to support small holders, women who do small farming, small size farming. We have to invest in, in care, in care work. Care work is mainly done by women, but mostly it's either free work or underpaid. We have to invest in it. We have to make sure that these women receive the kind of pay that is sustainable. We have to fund women's organizations. Fighting gender inequality begins with you, begins with me, it begins with us. Happy Women's Day. I love you all. Bye. 
Hello everyone, happy Women's Day to you. My name is Chimbu Gwemo and I'm an information and communications technology professional based in Kampala, Uganda. Women's Day to me is about celebrating the women in my life and creating opportunities for girls and women to maximize their potential. I am really glad that this year's theme for Women's Day is innovation and technology for gender equality because I believe that innovation and technology help us to level the ground, bridge the gap, and push the gender equality conversation far and wide. Happy Women's Day to you once again. I hope you have a great one. Uh, Imani Gloria, House Uganda, <laughs> here to wish you a happy Women's Day. Well, uh, being a woman, uh, it's all, it's all superpower. It's all, and you feel, there is a vibe that you feel as a woman. Mm. So I celebrate that and when I think of uh, empowered women, I think of these women down. <laughs> My mom on the first list, oh, this woman is wow. Uh, in Uganda they say, yeah, the kids are really just, uh, okay, she turned down a lot of proposals to see her children happy. Yes, that is one. Uh, I, I'm a good at sports and uh, this woman, Maggie, she goes, inspires me a lot. Those are two. <laughs> then my spiritual mother, Pastor Sandra Vaina. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, like and share the videos and please always like the videos. It helps a lot. Once again, my love, peace.